What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to boost your FPS and improve your overall performance when playing City Skylines on your PC. This should be quite an easy tutorial, everything you need will be listed in the description below. First, let's take a look at your in-game settings. Most of these settings will depend on your system's components and if your CPU or GPU is a bottleneck to your performance. Set the aspect ratio and resolution option to your native monitor resolution. In case one of the next tweaks helped you out as much as you wanted, then make sure to reduce the resolution option as well. This will in any case reduce the visual quality, but your performance will increase in any way. Set your display mode to full screen. I have set it to windowed as it's easier to record. Make sure to disable VSync and then apply your display settings. In your graphics preferences, set the color correction override to your liking. I prefer to disable this option as well. Below, disable the depth of field and the film grain option will not change your performance. In your quality settings, make sure to disable shadows. Set the texture quality to low, level of detail to medium, disable anisotropic filtering as well as anti-aliasing. When this is done, Leave the game running and open up your task manager. Here in the Processes tab, right-click Cities and select to go to Details. In the Details tab, the Cities.exe application should be highlighted. Simply right-click it and set the priority to High. This will in turn allocate more resources to playing the game and should increase your performance, especially if you have other programs running in the background. In order to reduce the CPU utilization from other applications, I suggest you to end some processes from running in the background in the Processes tab, which you don't need when playing the game. But make sure to only add programs from running which you know won't break your operating system. You can now close the game and your task manager. Next, open up your Steam library. Here. Right-click City Skylines and navigate to the game's properties. In the General tab, make sure to select Set Launch Options. The commands you enter into this dialog box will be applied to the game every time you launch it. These commands will make sure that the game is utilizing the most from your system's performance and will in turn also reduce the overall performance needed to run it on your PC. If, in any case, one of these commands worsens your performance, for example, for systems running on a dual-core CPU, then you can always remove the command after. I will briefly go over the most important launch options. Limit FPS This command will uncap your FPS when setting the value to 0. Or you can cap it to let's say 200 when using the command with a value of 200. I suggest to cap your FPS to a value higher than your screen's refresh rate. No workshop this will disable the workshop and its mods and other resources completely in order to troubleshoot where performance issues are coming from. Forced GL Core 30 If you prefer to use OpenGL instead of DirectX, then make sure to use this launch option. I will leave them all in the description below, along with other commands I use to improve the overall performance of the game. You should also make sure that your game files are complete and up to date. In the Local Files tab, select Verify Integrity of Game Files. This will take a minute to re-download any missing or replace corrupted files. Next, make sure that your peripherals and other devices are running the latest driver. In some cases, outdated driver software for your components can be the culprit of stuttering or FPS drops. Search for Device Manager in your taskbar search to open it up. On this window, Expand Mice and Other Pointing Devices. Right-click the device you are using, select Update Driver and then search automatically for updated driver software. In case you are unsure about which device you are currently using, then repeat this step for each device. You should also update your network adapter, display adapter and disk drivers. When this is done, close this window and make sure that your graphics driver and operating system is up to date. This step can make the biggest performance difference, depending on how often you're updating your drivers. In case you're using an NVIDIA graphics card, 
then I suggest using the GeForce Experience application. Otherwise, you can also use the AMD driver suit. In the Drivers tab, simply click on Download and the application will automatically download and install the latest driver. In the Home tab, select Details for City Skylines and then select this wrench icon. This allows you to optimize some options for performance when using this slider system. Lastly, in your settings under General, make sure that the in-game overlay is turned off. This can in some cases result in random lag when enabled, especially on systems running a low-end CPU. You can now close this window and search for update in your taskbar search to open up your search for updates system settings window. Here, make sure to download the latest update and restart your PC to install it. When this is done, we will change some OS settings, which are usually turned on by default and could reduce your overall performance, especially when using demanding applications. Search for Game Bar to open up the Game Bar system settings. Here, uncheck the recording option and in the Captures tab, Make sure to additionally disable the background recording option. These settings will only reduce your performance. If you want to record your gameplay, then I suggest using OBS Studio or an external capture card if you lack performance. When this is done, search for graphic settings and open up your graphic system settings. On this window, select Browse and your file explorer will open up. From here, navigate to the drive on which you saved the game on. Program Files, Steam Apps, Common, City Skylines and here select the CTS application and then add it to the program list. Once it's added, you can change the options of the application so that the graphics preference is set to high performance. Don't forget to apply your changes. Again, in your settings, look up Startup to open up your Startup Apps options. Here, you should disable apps from automatically starting up on system boot. Especially applications such as Skype or Discord can be taxing to your overall system performance and should be enabled when you actually plan to use them. Next, we will change a few settings in your NVIDIA control panel. Right-click your desktop and select to open it up. Here, navigate to Manage 3D Settings and then Program Settings. Select to add a program to customize and then add City Skylines from the program list. Below, we will change a few settings. Make sure that the CUDA setting is set to your main GPU. Set the power management mode to prefer maximum performance and set the texture filtering quality to performance. Make sure to apply your changes as this will improve the game's performance when using a low-end graphics card. In case you have decent system performance and none of these steps helped you out, then you might have malware or other third-party software running on your system. You should uninstall recently installed software to find out which application is causing the issue. In some cases, Adobe applications or Shadow Play reserve a big part of your memory to run in the background. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.